And here we go. PvP commentary with the Not Forgotten. Some of you may not even know what this weapon is. Ironically enough because of the name, but mostly because it's an upgrade to Luna's Hell, which you obtain for hitting Legend... Sorry, I'm trying to look for it. Legend in the competitive playlist. That's how you get the Not Forgotten. To get the Luna's Hell, you need 2100 and going through a lengthy quest, and then you need to continue that quest to obtain Not Forgotten. But what really is this weapon? If you've seen a video about it, you might know some things. But my boy Drewski, check the description, did a full guide on the Luna's Howl and the Not Forgotten. So I recommend that one if you want to uh, learn about this gun. And if uh, what I just did there... How did he survive? Was he in a rift? But uh, if what I just did there intrigues you, you might want to take a look at what this weapon can do. I haven't played this map since I was on PlayStation. This is incredible. Jump over. Me uh, melee. You the lead. Oh, thank god. Teammate tanked that for me. Oh, I should have the snipe out good. About to hit some faces. Is that actual gunfire, or is that... Okay, that that was a ship in the distance. Alright, congratulations. I'll switch to a shotgun if I have to, but keep in mind, that's why I have Tractor Cannon in my back pocket, and I got Doomfang Pauldron to uh, make the most of my melees, because it gives me a quarter of my super energy back, which then leads to me probably getting power ammo when some people don't. Let's pull this snipe out and work these angles. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I did make it to this side of the door. Alright, homeboy's about to roll up. And I suppressed him. I need to aim for the face if I want to make this gun good. That's the best part about it. Went ahead and executed that teammate so he was not anchoring the spawn if I kill both of them. That's what it looks like at three taps. Let's go, let's go hunt. Uh, yes, I am Titan Skating, and yes, I think it is the most bullshit mechanic. However, you're supposed to die. However, <laughs> um, it is a evil necessity in the comp playlist. I have Magnificent Hal. If I see somebody, they're going to get two tapped. Well, not now, because the perk ran away. The perk went away, not ran away. Alright, just gonna throw a barricade here and skate backwards again. And I'll go back to it if I need to reload, but I want to hold a very tight angle here with the snipe to make it that much more unlikely of them actually killing me. Look at this, I got an angle on both sides. So that's actually bad, because they can shoot me from the left. So I want to work this angle here, but then that opens me up there. So I can't have my cake and eat it too, unfortunately. I have to pick which angle I actually want to commit to. Alright, look, well, let's help my teammates now. They're all in a gunfight. They might not be paying attention. A 39 damage there will let me clean up with the snipe. But of course, Invisible Man was off my radar. I didn't anticipate that whatsoever. This uh, new... Oh my goodness. Going off there with the grab. Keep going. I'll give them the opportunity. Roll around the corner. Grab Lance is still good. Sorry, dude. It all ends there. Ended the montage clip. Here, let's throw this as close to the wall as I can, and then a suppressor nade at the wall. There we go. Give me that super energy. Huge. And I think I cancelled it. I can kill him out of the rift with this. Excellent. I have three snipe shot. Let it auto-reload with the rally barricade. I think that is the best barricade now, especially because you can shoot over it and use cover. Let's get my radar back. Alright, work around this angle. Look at all this, like, debris on the side that I could shoot instead of a person. Ah, I didn't hit the head. That's bad. Oh, that's also bad that I spammed a shot. You just have to be so fucking confident with this gun, and I love it. I love everything about it. It's probably going to be the best weapon in the game, most likely. There we go. I should probably use my Rally Barricade or my Bubble. I don't know where power drops. There we go. That storm nade's gonna hurt. Let's pull the snipe out. 
Do some more damage. Work the tight angle. My teammate. Oh, I missed the headshot. Sucks for me. Teammate, you can finish this up. I believe in you. Thank you. Let's go. Then from the side, this is a great time for Rally Barricade to block off this doorway and let me secure power. Now I can pull this, and if somebody wants to, I don't know, Titan Smash or something like that, I have a tractor cannon for him. Let's get this angle. Shoot him in the face. Oh, he's going around the side. Smart dude. But unfortunately for you, I can see the door open. Excellent grenade. Oh, I got the how. Oh, good shit on. There we go. Oh, I can jump shot with this too. This isn't a coincidence. That's what a 180 hand cannon does. So you can see what I mean about this hand cannon and why I would personally rate it as the best gun in Destiny right now. Ace of Spades can definitely hang, but this isn't, this is a, uh, sorry. I had tractor cannon there and I probably could have killed him. Got a little bit distracted with the commentary. But I was gonna say, this is a legendary and Ace of Spades is an exotic. So this frees me up to use tractor cannon, which lets me be a royal pain in the neck with my bubble. Oh no. That snipe flinch destroyed me. And he's in biz because of the bottom, not bottom tree, I guess we call it middle tree Night Stalker. Not 100% sure, but what I do know is they're all getting supers again, and your boy only has one suppressor nade. Okay, congratulations with that uh, shoulder charge. You sure got me. I just feel like people know they're going, there's a strong chance of suicide with shoulder charge if you're aiming at an opponent who's actually facing you. Slide out, get the angle. Done. Same thing. If he's there, a teammate's not too far behind. Oh shit. Okay, I don't have that angle. There we go. I didn't get him. Oh shit, frisbee's coming. Man's got a frisbee. Oh. Double punch, get the overshield, float high above this door. I need to no scope him if I even want to have a chance. I don't have snipe ammo, no. Rally barricade up. Be patient, don't get suppressed. One headshot, it's gonna be two. Shit, where is he? He can't kill me if I grab this tractor cannon. He can certainly break the bubble in time. He's already used one. Let's go, tractor cannon's out for Harambe. There it is. There it is, keep this going. That's right, I feel no remorse whatsoever for using this broken gun. Wave goodbye to juice box. Why do I not feel remorse anymore? Because everybody wanted special weapons to come back. So now you gotta deal with it. Complain to Bungie so I can have my primary weapons back, please. Uh-oh. This is the best peak shot weapon in the game, by the way, because people actually get like really overconfident. Oh, that was a sick tether teammate. Because people get really, really overconfident when they have more than half their health. And they peak. How much sniped? I have zero snipe. That's bad. Let's protect teammate. Teammate, get to cover. I got you. Oh, this is even better. Throw this. Move over to the side so my face is protected. And if that guy ran through the barricade, I would have gotten a overshield. I was just hoping that by buying that much time, maybe my teammates would come to my rescue and get this power ammo since, you know, I took two people off of the power ammo. Pay attention to what he has there in the bottom left. He has either a sleeper simulant or a queen breaker's bow, some sort of linear fusion. Okay, I can see them through this glass. That's good. He has his back to me, but I know there's another person to my right, and that's the sleeper simulant. See ya. Thanks for the tractor cannon. Thanks for the bubble. Please come into my bubble. What do you got for supers? Nothing. Oh, well maybe that was a wasted bubble. I just can't get picked. Please. Oh, this is better. That's what I needed right there. Alright, where is it? Teammate threw something. Alright. Bad place to be aggressive. I need to work around this bubble. Okay, that's my exit. 
Got it. I'm about to have more tractor cannon. I can use this tractor cannon to secure it even more. Wait for it. Oh, that's my teammate's hammer. That's great. Remember, since this hand cannon is a 180 RPM, it is accurate in the air. Thank you for your contribution to the Kami Cakes Tractor uh, Cannon Foundation. There we go. I could not ask for a and uh, Shax couldn't ask for a better victory. Hope you enjoyed this commentary. There are going to be many more to come. This is the first of a new season, or forsaken season, of PvP commentaries. And maybe after you watch an episode, any episode of a PvP commentary, you think, hmm, I wonder if Kami is streaming over on Twitch. And the answer is maybe. So that is twitch.tv slash kamikakes, very easy to type out. And I have a Discord, which I'm heavily active in, and have a wonderful community of people who play Destiny and other games, and maybe want to chat. So I heavily recommend you check it out. Also, a lot of memes on my Twitter, that is kamikakesyt. Uh, all these plugs are necessary because this is the first episode in a new series, and I might as well explain this build that I just used because you are awesome for watching this video. So we got the Doomfang Pauldron. I get one-fourth of my super energy for getting a melee kill, and it improves Sentinel Shield in the sense that I can use the Frisbee, throw the Frisbee, Frisbee gets a kill, and it extends the super, and then if I get a melee kill, it restores the Frisbee, thus keeping my super going on forever, making a seventh column all that more possible. But you can do actual very cool things with this. Um, there's a chance that I lag out here because Spectrum's been uh, shitting the bed lately with internet. I actually have a technician coming over. But if this next game loads, I might be able to show you what I mean. You throw Doom you throw a Doomfang Pulgeon on to get your bubble. Then you switch to Saint-14 if you're solo. Or Crest of Alphalupi if you have a team that will actually make use of it. So this will give you an overshield when you leave the bubble. And then you switch back to Doomfang Pauldron punch a person, get a quarter of your super, and then switch to feedback fence. Yeah, I know that's a lot of switching, but people will just look at you in the bubble because it's nearly indestructible to a couple things besides Nova Bomb and Blade Barrage, almost said Blood Barrage, shout out to the RuneScape veterans out there, but yeah, it's very, very hard to break a Ward of Dawn. And now that I can use a Tractor Cannon as a shotgun, a Silicon Aroma as a snipe, and the Not Forgotten as a shotgun counter because it will three-tap people and shoot people from the air very accurately, I think this is one of the most ultimate loadouts in Destiny. The only thing I need to do is upgrade the Silicon Aroma because as you can see, it only has one main trait perk and one magazine perk. Whereas the new weapons in this DLC, let me see if I have one, have two main perks and one magazine perk. And so where I can get an aggressive snipe is actually Gambit, which is one of the coolest introductions uh, to Destiny that Destiny's ever had. Like when I think of Destiny from its inception, right? From when I started seeing trailer footage and leaks about Destiny, Gambit is what I imagine would be like the marquee thing to do in Destiny. And I think they knocked it out of the park. I mean, there's a couple casual elements that could definitely be improved. But I'm not going to go into that right now because it's, it's a little too early to call it how it is. Got to play more. Uh, I will switch to Luna's Howl just to show you the difference. One of these has range. The other has reload and handling. So on a close quarters map like the Burnout, I use Luna's Howl for close, Silicon for far, and Tractor Cannon... It's Tractor Cannon, it'll map people. Control. So see if I can finagle this hot swap to no. multiple exotics. I know that's a scummy thing to do, but that's how you gotta play in the competitive playlist. If other people do it to you, there is a lot of cheese, by the way, that I don't even wanna go into because it is absurd and I don't want the Crucible to be ruined. Enemy he flinched me out of that. Oh shit, I chose the wrong area to barricade. I thought I was getting shot from the back, I was definitely getting shot from the front. They might be AFK. Sorry, Shifty. Work this tight angle, don't get trapped. I sort of jiggle peek just to give them the illusion that I'm trying to leave, and then pop out, bam, headshot. Let's go get this um, tractor cannon. It's, you know what, it's a little early for tractor cannon. So let's make a hot swap to Colony. Shoot them once in the body with Colony, and then clean up with Luna's house so I can get a two tap on the next person. Case in point. 
If I hit him in the head, that would have been a kill. Please. Okay, that was satisfying. See, this gun is one of the most satisfying guns to use. Uh, it doesn't look like your teammates need help from a colony right there, but they will need help on a flag, which I'm about to nuke. Tactical nuke inbound. See ya, dude. 140. Okay, if the flag's not going up, that means he's not there. I'm gonna throw this rally barricade up to protect me against shotgunners. Next person to uh, peeks the corner dies. I have four silicon aroma shots. That's enough to do a lot of damage. Teammates are here, I have the luxury of reloading. I think a snipe shot whizzed by my face. Uh, using that emote was actually silly right there because I could have got dome for no reason in particular. I'm out of colony, so I need to actually snipe this power. Teammate's probably gonna take some shots doing that. Did I hit him? Oh no. Okay, so I slid forward so that maybe someone jumps over me and melees into the barricade, thus giving me a overshield, and that would have been super useful. And if I'm close to a super without a melee, that means someone on the enemy team who's been slaying out might also be close to a super. Uh, always keep her head on a swivel here. Oh, shit. Double melee, get my bubble. Yes, now I'll get a tractor cannon. Excellent. And I can throw it on B flag where there's a lot of people contesting. I'm not even worried about those other people. Let's not waste my tractor cannon because it's very valuable. Okay, my team got B. Where are they going? They going A? Because I'll stop A flag. I'll throw a bubble right on it and uh, cut that shit out. Here we go. And this is my territory. Let's throw a rally barricade towards the front. So if they run in, they're already prematurely damaged. And I get them auto reloads. Oh, congratulations. Let's break that real quick. Switch to feedback fence because I am a tool. Keep the pressure on. There we go. Can I squeeze through that? Yes, I can. My Titan's been training her figure, wears very small armor, so she doesn't look like a refrigerator. Uh, enjoy that suppressor nade. I whipped 180 because I was suspecting someone to run up with the shoddy. Full speed out the door. Shoddy, or sniper towards the opposite angle where maybe I don't see him on radar. He wasn't there. Radar's a little big in this game. I noticed that when I reload this uh, Luna's Howl prematurely, I lose ammo because of drop mag. I thought that was a really clever way of balancing the power of this gun, and then I unlock Not Forgotten, and that totally went out the window. Oh, I should have had Doomfang Pauldron on. I am silly. Forgot to switch. Back. Don't do it. I had the high ground, Anakin. I am scaring them, Shax. Oh, I am most certainly scaring them. I can't fake him out with the tractor cannon. I did hit him with that flying uh, 57. Let's go get this power ammo. I'm not going to make it in time. But I can bubble. Let's find his face. Oh, that was in his face. Alright, I'm going to have to do it again. There it is. Because uh, Luna's Howl wasn't going to actually do it. All right, we're out of here. Maybe I find the space? All right, they know I'm gonna peek this out. Oh, I got him. Oh shit, what is this? What the fuck was that? That's a blood barrage. Let's get out of here. That's a excellent trade right there. Cause look how many people were there. I'm salivating just thinking of this. I'm actually going to use the Sentinel Shield to show you what this extended super looks like and tear this entire enemy team up. So swipe out Frisbee randomly in any direction because it straight up don't matter. Where's the other one? Oh, that's a Blade Barrage. Oh, that's a Nova... What's it called? A Nova Warp? Uh, I went off the map for reasons so that he couldn't shoot me at that angle and now I'm going to snipe him when he comes out this door. Okay, he's not focused on me. This is the person who's focused on me. Alright, he's got to be out of ammo missing shots like that. Sorry, teammates. Uh, that was a panic super when there were three of us near you. Wasn't necessary whatsoever. Let's go. Okay, I hear the Goldie. I'm going to throw the suppressor because I don't want to deal with them. Alright, Zero's dead. 
Speaking of Zero, if you haven't seen the Smash 4 Rivalries documentary, it's pretty good. Recommend it. I'll put that link in the description too if I remember. And if I don't, roast me in the comment section. Do it! Oh, he, he ran through the barricade. Unfortunately, I died to the hunter melee. I thought I had enough health to survive 100, but once you start studying the numbers of what guns do in this DLC, you uh, have more of a sense of what to do. It's still early in this DLC, so I wasn't quite prepared. All right, I'm gonna probably walk into a snipe, so that's why I'm zigzagging. All right, if there's two of us here, don't be afraid, teammate. We got this shit. I have the Magnificent Howl. If someone peeks this corner, they die. All right, and it's gone. That's the name of the uh, perk for Luna's Howl and Not Forgotten. Flying into him, full speed. Yes, that's what I needed. And now, bait him with this barricade. Sit in it. There we go, bubble! Oh my goodness, no! I hate you. That hurt my soul. Yeah, how about no to that, uh... What's it called? Sunbreaker? Sorry, other people! Oh, that would have been a sick kill right there, but I would not have been able to whip with the snipe out and totally destroy that person. I'll do it again. I spammed the hand cannon, that was bad. He should have killed me with that kind of carelessness, but the match is over. Well, we got a bonus game in the first episode. That happens sometimes. Sometimes I do one game, sometimes I do three, and sometimes I get on a tangent and end up playing for like an hour. That's how this commentary series rolls. Again, follow all those social medias. I might be on Twitch. Thanks for watching. This is going to be a Luna's Hell Not Forgotten Week because I am taking a victory lap with this weapon. I'll be using it in a multitude of different loadouts, including Chad's uh, Claymore because of this emblem. And, uh... Devour Warlock. I can think of a lot of things to do. There's even a bow and arrow that exists in this game now. And I'm sure there's lots of fun exotics that I can pair instead of using the uh, ever so hated tractor cannon. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for checking this video out.